So continuing with our 10 gifts for your wildly creative friends, I want to talk about something that looks decidedly uncreative, but is really, really important for those folks who enjoy using pencils of all kinds. So these are the Derwent pencil extender, and they are for helping extend the life of your really expensive uh, colored pencils, writing pencils, drawing pencils, pencils of all kinds. They come in two different sizes. The, uh, let's see, this is the eight millimeter. So you can put a pencil in here up to eight millimeters in diameter. And this one has up to seven millimeters in diameter, which makes a whole lot of not sense. <laughs> How do you know if something is a seven millimeter or eight millimeter? So I'm going to show you some pencils that I know this works really well with. So the reason I bought these is because I, in my drawing to create uh, coloring adventures, books, cards, all of that collaborative art, I use a lot of Caron de Arche um, non-photo blue pencils because I do all my drawings by hand first. And these are really expensive. These are like $3 a pencil. Um, doesn't sound like a lot until you start adding it up because you do go through them. They're a very soft leaded pencil and they're awesome, but I don't want to get rid of them when they get to be this size because like I said, $3 a pencil. Um, but when they're this size and you try to draw with them, well, yeah, it's really possible. And when we were kids, this is something we did all the time, kind of like a, a badge of courage. If you could draw with the pencil or write with a pencil when it got down here next to the ferrule. But as an adult with, um, let's just be honest, aging hands, this hurts after a while. So what you do with the pencil extender is you, um, let me do this with my right hand. You push this pencil on, oh, excuse me, push the extender onto the pencil. Now you'll notice I've taken this one on and off a couple of times before I had another eraser because the, these uh, non-photo blue pencils come with really fabulous erasers, super soft, and they don't tear your drawing paper. Um, with the beveled edged pencil, it's going to do a little bit of roughing up. I don't care about that. That's not an important factor to me. Some people, that aesthetic value is, so just so you know, when they're beveled edges that you're working with, it's going to um, mar the, the finish. So you put that base on and then you tighten the grip. And this grip is a nice textured metal grip. I like it personally, it makes it so I can really be relaxed when I hold the pencil. And now my pencil is now a normal length pencil and I can put, I'm pushing really hard and it's not sliding down. So I can continue to use, and yes, I'm making this page even more crazy and wildly creative. I've tested all the supplies uh, or demonstrated them all for you here. Now it's a regular old pencil, but this is the seven millimeter. So you're like, Michelle, I don't use non-photo blue pencils. Okay. So what goes into the seven? millimeter barrel. Let me show you. A common pencil for folks that love to color and create colored pencil art is the Prismacolor Premier. This one, obviously, I don't need an extender in this yet, but I thought I would show it to you in this one. Again, you have to, this is a one that's going to fit into the seven millimeter. Um, Prismacolor Premiers are not terribly long pencil, or excuse me, wide pencils. And you put it on slide that puppy in. Now, if you've got lots of really small tipped or small nibs of pencils, yeah, you'll be taking this on and off, which if you're like me, that's going to get really annoying. I would get a couple of sets of this particular one so that I had multiple seven millimeter barrels to, to use on my colored pencils, especially because you're going to be using these on your favorite colors because it's the favorite colors that become the smallest. And then you start to color with it. Sorry, I shouldn't make like airplane noises when I color. Doesn't make any sense. Although, yes, it does. Look at this. And I'm distracted. So, seven millimeters. <clears throat> what then is the eight millimeter for? These are for folks who are like me and are wildly creative. I have all kinds of colored pencils and all brands of colored pencils. My, some of my favorites are deceptively 
bigger, deceptively, I don't know why I chose that word, are decidedly bigger than a standard Prismacolor. This is a Derwent Inktense. It is fatter and it's going to take a little doing, which is why I say if you care about the <clears throat> finish of your barrels, of your pencils, perhaps this isn't a great tool for you. For me, if it's going to extend the life of my incredibly expensive art pencils that I love to use, and it's going to make it so my hands don't hurt at the end of a, of a art session, that's well worth it. Whether or not this lacquer stays on, I could care less. It does not affect the, the experience of me using the art tool. And there you go. Now I have a really, and I'll show you, I'm pushing hard and it's not coming down. It's extending the life of my pencil because it extends the life of me being able to work with it comfortably. So I'm not going to replace this pencil. One of the main reasons I bought it, besides my non-photo blue, pull this off, there you go, is to extend the life of my Spectra Color colored pencils. These are no longer made, <laughs> which breaks my heart. They are one of my favorite colored pencils. They were an American-made company back in the day, or American-made pencil back in the day, and they're just a beautiful pencil, but the company went out of business. It works great with the seven millimeter barrel. Slide it on. This is one of my shorter pencils. I'm very particular about where I use these pencils because like I said, they're not made anymore and I really love them. And now like my black is super tiny. I couldn't find it, which makes me a little nervous. So I'm showing you my lemon yellow. And now I've got a full sized pencil and I can use these for as long as I can fit it in here and there has enough nib for it to hold on to. So there you go. The Derwent pencil extender works with a wide variety of pencils. I've shown you a couple. I recommend before you get the, if you want to get one of these for your wildly creative friends and family, take a sneaky peek at their colored pencils and uh, see how big they are. But like I said, this works fabulously with Prismacolor Premier. And um, in my experience, Derwent makes some of the uh, fatter diameter pencils. So they fit these. They also fit my Faber-Castells. I just didn't want to make this video too long. And they fit my Garanda Arche, which is a beveled edge pencil. So there you go. Hope that helps.